फ्रेंड अरुणिका एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट बुक फर्स्ट फ्लाइट अ पोएम डस्ट ऑफ स्नो सो लेट्स सो दिस पोएम इज रिटन बाय रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट इट्स पोएट इज रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट एंड द मेन आइडिया और द थीम ऑफ द पोएम इज दैट नेचर हैज इट्स ओन वेज टू हील अवर प्रॉब्लम्स or to fight with our problems or depressions so this is what this poem tells us so let's start so here the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day i had wrote so here this is a short poem with a deep meaning of two stanzas so let's move to the first stanza the first stanza say the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree so here there is a hemlock tree hemlock tree is a, a very poisonous tree with small white flowers on it so the poet is standing under the hemlock tree and he is very sad on that day or very depressed what happened suddenly a crow came and sits on the tree so the movement of the crow the movement of the crow shakes the tree and the dust of snow which is at the top of the tree falls down on the poet so this is what in stanza 1 now stanza 2 has given my heart a change of mood and save some part that i had wrote now in second stanza the poet as soon as the dust of snow falls on the poet the poet moods changed completely he was very happy and filled with excitement so he is saying that this fallen uh, this, this sudden fall of dust of snow has changed my entire mood and it has saved some part that i had root root means regret the meaning of root is root is regret so this is the poem that's the poem says now here in this poem there is a figure of speech alliteration so here is a figure of speech alliterations in fifth and seventh line this has given my heart and and save some part so here in these fifth and seventh line there is a figure of speech alliteration so alliterations that figure of speech in which the repetition of sound is there within a phrase or a sentence okay and here the rhyme scheme is a b a b a b a b here crow snow a b a b a b a b so here crow snow me tree heart part mood root so rhyme scheme is a b a b. Here you understand what is hemlock tree. Hemlock tree is a poisonous tree with white flowers on it. So now let's discuss its question answers. So very first question says that what is a dust of snow? What does the poet say? Has changed his mood? How has the poet's mood changed? So in one question there is three parts. So the first part is what is a dust of snow? So here the poet has referred the snow as dust. very tiny particle so dust of snow refers to a very tiny particles right next part is what does the poet say has changed his mood so a sudden fall of dust of snow has changed poet's mood third part is how has the poet's mood changed as soon as the dust of snow falls on the poet he was filled with happiness and excitement so his mood has changed question number second has second is how does frost present nature in this poem the following question may help you think of an answer question uh, first part is what are the birds that are usually named in poems do you think a crow is often mentioned in poems what images come to your mind when you think of a crow so here also three parts are there first of all how frost present nature in this poem so frost present nature in this poem in three parts first is the hemlock tree crow and dust of snow three things are there and say, uh, first question is what are the birds that are usually named in the poem so 
So the birds that are usually named in the poem are peacocks, cuckoos, doves, etc. Second part is, do you think a crow is often mentioned in poem? No, I don't think that crow is often mentioned in poem. What images come to your mind when you think of a crow? So when we think of a crow, an image of a very ugly looking and uh, ugly looking bird with a harsh and unpleasant sound came to our mind. Second question is, again, what is a hemlock tree? So, hemlock tree is a poisonous tree with a small white flowers on it. Why doesn't the poet write about a more beautiful tree such as a maple or an oak or a pine? So, the poet has not written about an oak or a pine tree or more beautiful tree because he wants to show the situation of sadness. That's why he used the hemlock tree. And as we know that hemlock tree is poisonous, so it represents the death, the evil aspect. Now, question number second, third part is, what do the crow and hemlock represent? Joy or sorrow? So, the crow and hemlock represent sorrow or bad luck. Second is, what does the dust of snow that the crow shakes of a hemlock tree stand for? So, the dust of snow that a crow shakes from a hemlock tree stands for sorrow or sadness because as we know that it, it has fallen from a hemlock tree and hemlock tree stands for uh, stands, stands for sadness or death. So it is an evil aspect. Right. Now last question number three is have there been times when you felt depressed or hopeless? Have you experienced a similar moment that changed your mood that day? So this question is based on your experience, so we can't discuss it. Everyone has their own experiences, so you can write it ab about your experiences in this question. So students, that's all for today class. Thank you.